Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching Sonic 2 Made Out of Cardboard. This video is going to be the making of it, where you get to hear me be a little bitch and complain about things going wrong. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you once again for more late night reviews. Goodbye. This is frustrating, there's blue tech everywhere. I can't stick it down to the base, it's so frustrating. Take f two. Oh my god. Ugh. This is horrible. Over the top of Sonic there. Make it look like he's not broken his arm and detached it. But yeah, the fish are going to jump up from behind here. Now this is going to be pretty difficult to do because I've tried it already, but when I make the fish jump up, they catch on the bridge. And it's a bit challenging, but we'll try and do it as best we can. We've also got like the spiral, um, the spiral sort of, I don't even know what you call this thing. And let's go. Man, this is well hard. that put Sonic like here as if he's going to take off and then we'll take a photograph of this and then superimpose him in so that should be quite cool I think as you can see this is a lot of work this is taking me a week to do already so um yeah where are we I wonder if we, we should shoot it on the ground like flat like that or shoot it I mean, I could move the camera myself rather than moving the board. That would make a lot more sense. So we'll take it off like that and then have Sonic like that, jumping down there. A shot of it like going like that. He will zoom up there and then back to him standing. Okay, let's go for it. Maybe less lighting. Let's try it like that, that's better. Oh, that's sick. Move it up a little bit more because I think it's getting caught on the card. Mm, could be better. Let's position it a bit because if you don't have it right in the middle, um, it can mess up. This one comes in like that. That one comes in behind that, and then this one finally comes in there like that. Now what I've got to do, unfortunately I've kind of ballsed up. So, zoomp, that's good. And then, zoomp, that's good. And then... Okay, so it's getting a bit messy at the moment. There's the previous level I did there. I think what I'm going to do is put all these underneath here, and that'd be a good place to keep all this extra stuff. I've got loads of it. Now we have uh, Dr. Robotnik. It's going to spin back and forth like that. 
and uh, occasionally we're going to sh- film his hammer doing that and then we're going to have like superimpose an arrow come out or something like that so <laughs> I'm quite pleased with it actually it's quite funny I feel that it's quite neat to go round it like that One, two, three. So now what we'll do is film this sucker. This is mental. So what we got to do now is attach a, uh, a flammable aerosol to the back of here like that, and then we're going to try and get the fire coming out of the nozzle. That did completely nothing. It seems to be catching, but I think we need to tilt it away a little bit. Move this lava with one hand while raising this guy up. Like that. So it's been quite tricky. That's quite good of it, raising up and down like that. What do you think? What do you, re- what do you reckon looks better? Just moving across like that? Or with a bit of motion. I think with a bit of motion that's quite good. I don't know. Put that to there or just make a little mound of it at the bottom down there and just set fire to it and hopefully this part here will set fire. Well we've got to work this out, we've got to do this properly. Oh you bastard! Oh dear, and how's it look now? Cheap. So, so that actually there doesn't actually look too bad, but when you go like this, that's, here's that snake thing I was telling you about. There's the sun coming out again. All right, now this would be very, very simple. It's just a matter of putting them in the, in the, uh, the, the oil and having a little slosh around. And of course, the inevitable close up. Okay, I've, I've got an awful feeling that, that the head of this is on upside down, but uh, I don't care too much. I'll wait for the comments in the comments section. Here it is, here's the little projectile. Wilson's seen a squirrel, hasn't he? As I said before, what I need to do is make an incision behind here and then push this bit behind there and uh, so you won't see it, but then the whole thing will come out like this like that. It's going to be tricky to push this back in so what I need to do is just have probably one shot of it doing that and then I can do a reverse shot of it going back in. So uh, let's see how that goes. Oh also we've got Sonic here as well maybe having a game punched in the face maybe. Grab this bit here and then push it and then back. Um. Oh it came out. Well, even though you can't see it, the slit, let's, let's open it up. There we go. <laughs> it doesn't look that great, but like, and I've got to be careful because I don't want to wear out the cardboard because this is actually, uh, um, they're not turning as well as I thought. They get caught, so like, I've got to have it down like that, but I don't want to wear out the card, the hole, and make it bigger from turning it too much. If only I had two drills, I could do it a lot easier. Right now what I've got to do is I've got to cut off all these uh, little cogs. There we go, we've got Sonic and Tails stuck to that, how cute. Okay, now shooting on high quality. Let's go for it. So what I've made here is I've got this postal tube and I've covered it all in this stuff like this. 
and we're going to hopefully spin it round. But what I've done and what I'm going to try and do is uh, use a, a little drill to get this to spin. I put a glue stick on the end there. I just realised for some of the shots I wasn't in focus, so these ones will be in focus. Okay, I think for this bit, it's going to be really, really fiddly to move this, that, and that at the same time. Like, do you see what I mean? It's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach. I think I've made a bit of a mistake here. I think that gun turret needs to be positioned on that permanently, because I'm not sure if the chicken I'm gonna call him Chicken because I don't know his real name. Uh, Clucker, I think it is. But anyway, um, he's gonna pop up from here, but I'm not sure if the gun comes up with him. It doesn't look like it does, does it? So what I'm gonna do is go indoors, check out Sonic 2, and see if I was right, and hopefully it is. Otherwise, I've gotta got to cut that off and stick it to there, and then have him. Now, what we've got here is we've got Sonic in this shuttle, and what I need to do is very carefully remove that tape from the back so it doesn't get caught and we need to sort of turn up the right way and we need to sort of have it going up like that so what I'm going to do is do a reverse shot of it in space so this would be upside down so what we do <laughs> then bring it down like that and I like the way that it's going faster up like that that is quite good man I like that that's one of my favorite shots of all time that is I really like that. And yeah, we're in Death Egg Zone next. The nearly the end. This is more annoying than it looks because you've got to match that up like that. Okay, that that there is good, right? Then it's a matter of putting this in. So I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. That was good. I think that's it. Okay, now what I've got to do is make a hole here, which I have already, and then put this through and then attach that to the drill and then make it spin. Okay, so here goes, shot one. Pop that through there. Pop that through there. Keep it all steady. Oh God. <laughs> Let me just show you how annoying this is. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. I've been searching ages for that. Okay, and not in the center. Okay. Okay, and go. That was quite good. And then we put it down again. If we can get a nice shot of that moving forward. Okay, let's try again. Just a shot of it moving. Oh my god. You can see that. Just notice you don't actually see a thing when you blow it like that. So here we have this now. We're gonna put that to there. Let's tack that on with this horrendously bad sellotape. tape. 
So here we are, we have the, uh, the, the, uh, the background here. We're gonna put them into focus, hopefully that works okay. Looks like it is. Then what we're gonna do is just basically, get him to focus again, get, and then just get him like this, get the background and just move it like that. That works a bit better, doesn't it? Oh, it's running out of focus again. Okay, and then Tails just drifts off like that. And that'd be quite cool, that'd be a nice like transition shot. And then what I'll do is just have him cut to me or something, or cut to Wilson, that way I can just pop Sonic on the plane like that. Because obviously, to do like a, a hold, and then it'd be quite a lot more difficult to do that. And it's the end. <laughs> is it sad to say that I get a little bit sad at the end? When I get when I do the last shot, I always get a bit sad when it's the last shot. Okay, uh, is it down or up? I think it's down, isn't it? But it's down. Okay, so I'm just do it that way. But it's gonna be tricky because the camera's here. So and I don't want to get shadows in. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Just a quick shout to my patrons: the Soldier of Cardboard and also the Captains of Cardboard, Ryan Bin, Paul Keward, and Luke Cummings. Thank you very much, guys. Also, if you want to join my Discord, there'll be a link in the description. And if you want to join my Patreon as well, there'll be a link in the description too. Thank you very much for watching.